Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and this is our tour of our new to us RV. Yeah, uh, but before we can start with that, uh, we do have to thank somebody, uh, Glenn Wright, who gave us a monetary super thanks. So look up there, I got his name up there. <laughs> We appreciate Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Very generous. Thanks so much. Okay. We're going to go over here. Let's go take a look. So here we are. And you're getting it in the beautiful... Golden hour. Golden hour up there. <laughs> so that's the slide out, which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, over here, this is where... Oh, that's where we do the. That's where the fun is. The dump end. The dump end <laughs> on the rear. Effective, simple. That's where the sewer hose is supposed to go, but it doesn't fit in there. Uh, we do have an outside shower, and we can hook up a cable TV. If we hook up a hose to this, it's a flushing the tank. That's where we would plug in the water at the RV park. On the other side, I'll show you, is where you would fill up the fresh water tank. Here's electricity. And as you can see, I'm plugged into the garage over there. Our 30 amp. Okay, so over here is basically the only outside storage we have. So that's the sewer hose in that plastic container. That's the water hose. And I do put the electric hose in there also. That's our batteries for the RV. That's not for cranking over the engine. And then this one is the generator. So when you're out there in the middle of nowhere and you want electricity, you want to make a pot of coffee, just turn the generator on. <laughs> so we got a 2020 Correct. Gulfstream BT Cruiser 5240 is the model number. Right. And we love it. And it's on a Ford E350 with a V10 engine. I'll show you I'll show you the rest of that stuff when we get inside. You might want to do the outside while you have the light. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, so starting from the back, well, I forgot to show you what's up on the roof. So I've inserted this little piece. Here we go. Here's the ladder. So what we have up here is a solid fiberglass roof, not a rubber roof. It's a little dirty. We do have an awning. And it is electric awning and it does have a wind sensor. Uh, this is where you put the fresh water in, right here. That's our uh, our water heater for hot water for uh, taking showers and such. That's the back of the fridge. That's the furnace to keep it warm. Here's some 120 volt outlets. And this is where the propane goes. Pretty easy peasy. Karen's gonna let you in. Come on in and take a walk in with us. Okay, so you notice that a step came out so we can get in. Right over here, we'll push this little button and that gets you one light, just so you can find your way around. But once you're in, you got this little thing right here. So here's the water pump. This one's the water heater. This one turns on all the rest of the lights, not the bathroom, but the rest of the lights. And then this is where you can, uh, it's a, there's a light on the awning. So if you're sitting out there, you have a little light. This switch actually makes the awning go out. And this one, I'm about to use it right now. It makes the slide out work. So let's do that and give ourselves some more room here. And here we go. Wrong way, let's go out.
there you go. So that'll be the bed I'll show you later. This is the uh, E350 down here. It does have a backup camera. Nice seats. And why don't you show them how the TV comes up? Ooh. Do you know how? I think I do. Just push it once. Just a simple little button, bam. And if you happen to be sitting right here on the couch. Well, I just might do that. The other thing you could do, if, you ha if it happens to be a chilly evening, you might want to watch the TV and the fireplace at the same time. But that's also a heater. Yeah, we have a little bit of storage down here. We also have some storage up here. So we don't have the big overhang that the Class C's typically have. Correct. Which make me feel closed in up there. But we have just enough extra space to have some great storage. Mm-hmm. And then we have a drawer down here for putting pots and pans. We don't need very much of that. Storage under here to put... Uh, right now what we have is a tea kettle and a coffee pot. This is our uh, nice a sink. Deep sink. And it also has a cover so we can have more countertop space. It's a three burner propane stove, oven, Which is microwave right here. oven, all the things we could possibly need. Not huge, works no. just fine. Give you an idea how big it is. <laughs> More storage in here. And that goes goes all the way to the back. And that's one of the things that sold us on this unit is just amazing amounts of storage in here. Yeah. Um, here's the, we have, oh, more storage up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we have a fridge. And a freezer. And a freezer. And it's probably about six cubic yards. And it's plenty, yep. it's plenty for us. So uh, coming back here, this is one of the main reasons I love this coach. So here, turn the lights on over here. So number one, we have all this storage over here, which I'll open up and show you in a minute. Uh, in the newer models, this entire storage area under here is gone and it's accessible from the outside, which is nice. And this is the only storage place where we can put our chairs. Uh, these are other just accessories you need for running an RV. Here's our rug. Here are the uh, leveling blocks. And we have a lot more room in here. So I can put uh, that screen, screen, uh, the screen, screen room. room things like that we do live in florida we will be traveling quite a bit right. in florida and then i think karen wants this one there's a you can see there's a place to hang your clothes up here i think karen wants this one and then she wants me to have that one which is fine and then this one is a pantry and the idea is to have these plastic bins so we can fill them with food and things like this and then just Take them in the car when we go back and leave this thing in storage. Easy in, easy and, out. And then fill it with things and bring it back here when we go. This uh, right now is empty, just just, just a temporary holding place. Still but that's more, more uh, pantry mm -hmm. space. And there's a medicine chest over the sink. I mean, there's just all the space you could possibly need for what we're going to be using it for. Yep. Don't know that we could full time it in here for a long period of time, but it'll certainly meet our needs, I think. But here's, I, I need you to back up a little bit, honey, so I can come in here. So I want to show you, you, you've got this, um, you've got this uh, pocket door right here. So here, that's where the bathroom is right here. So you open this up, you go into the bathroom. 
Why don't you take this, honey, and you can film me so they can get a perspective of how much room. Are you going to model Matt? Yeah, I'm going to do Matt's RV reviews here. <laughs> this is a prime pooping position. And we don't care if it's plastic, Matt. It's It'd plastic. Nice we if, don't care. It'd be nice if it was porcelain. But, but, it's, but look how much room yeah. I've got. It's yeah. massive. And then here's the shower. Come on in here. And here's the shower. And I'm going to get in there so you can see how much room there really is in here. I'm six foot tall. And Plenty not of headroom. a problem. Plenty not a of problem elbow at all. Room. I love that sliding glass door. That's just yeah. bomb. For an RV shower, that's a lot of space. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's really great. Then we close it up here and then lock it for the for transportation. So let's make the bed, honey. Okay. So we got this, uh, this cover so that the dogs can hang out here and they wouldn't tear this thing to bits. Um, but in order to put the, uh, the bed down, I do need to do things like that. Okay, so wrong one first. So the first thing you do is bring the bed, bring the couch out, so and then you put the forward, and this is the and flat. you put the couch down because the the bed will actually lie flat on here. And there's our dining room table slash uh -huh. card table slash whatever table. Whatever table. Goes into the floor here in front of the couch. Oh. And another window, cross ventilation. Come over here. Like, and that opens up. That flips down. And this is just our mattress protector at this time. And then we have USB charging on both sides. We have reading lights up here. And that's and your bed. You can lay in bed and watch our fireplace and TV. 40 inch TV, huh? Something like that. Not bad. Love it. Just love it. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. So it's really easy. You just fold that up, push this back. goes down and then the couch holds it in place uh, this comes up first that. then the table always seems to move <laughs> Get it ready for the boys. <laughs> Easy peasy. Ready for the boys to come and join the joiny. Uh, they're probably going to want to have a bed down here. I think we're going to want them to have a bed down there so they're not trying to climb in the feet yeah. while we're driving. Or it's a, it is a little snug getting in and out of there. But it's uh, no problem. And then I turn, I get the camera on here, and then what happens here? I don't know why. When to lift it, you only have to push the button one time, but to put it down, you have to hold it. Hmm. The other thing that's interesting about this is that they gave us night lights. I just think it's, Ooh. I think there, it's a silly color, but we've got night lights. So, so it doesn't they, attract the bugs if we have the windows and the I screens don't know. and I don't know. They guess. got an under counter light here. Oh shoot. I left that light on in there. Glad it's easy to access. Easily accessible. So uh, we've got 
all of our dishes coming in and we're, we're starting to pack stuff up because we're getting ready for our first trip, which is any day now. Come on over, my honey. That's the tour. Uh, right over here, I'm going to put uh, a link to our Florida bucket list video. And in the meantime, we appreciate you stopping by. See ya.